decided we're gonna take the Eurostar to Paris. So, I've got all my luggage, <laughs> there's a lot, and I'm gonna take you along on the Eurostar with me. If it's your first time riding and you're curious about it, here's what you need to know. Basically, sorry, I'm, I don't wanna trip down the steps. Um, basically, here's what you need to know. Download the app, then you don't have to worry about keeping track of tickets. You wanna get here at least like 60 to 90 minutes early to deal with security. But the security like line closes a half hour before the train goes. So it's surprisingly not that busy today, which is why I've kind of just been walking around. I just stopped, there's an M&S, Marks and Spencers. You can go in there and get snacks for the train. There's no limit on liquids. So if you want to bring like a bottle of wine with you or whatever you can, you do just have to go through security and they'll take a look at it. Um, so I picked up a couple cans of gin and tonic because when in London, why not? And we're just gonna go head through security and then get to our seat. We've got to go because I've got a dinner reservation and I am not We just dropped off our luggage. I've got 12 hours to see friends and I'm walking over to Tran Tran Zay. I'm so excited. If you haven't been here before, it's in Chatelet. Oh, it's so good. I mean, if you're in Paris and you want really good ramen, I mean that they will actually do spicy because the French don't really do spice that well. This is the place you wanna go. And then tomorrow we head to the train and over to Antibes, which is my other like home in France that I like can't get enough of. So I'm gonna go look at the directions and uh, next stop is ramen. Okay, so we just finished dinner. It was so good, exactly what I wanted. And it was so much fun to catch up with my friend, Erin. I had such a good time. I'm so happy about this little like 12 hour layover in Paris. And because I'm obviously not here that long and I haven't been here in almost a year, I've decided to walk off dinner in a very special direction. Um, I'm really anxious to go see the Eiffel Tower sparkle because it's been a little too long. So we're gonna go do that. I honestly am so curious because I don't know how much of it's actually accessible because the Olympics were obviously just finished here a week ago. We should be able to time it so that we arrive about two minutes before the Eiffel Tower starts sparkling. Okay, so we made it to the Eiffel Tower and we did get to see it sparkle. Did have to walk down a little bit further than what I expected. Um, 
Unfortunately, the Alexander Trois, which is my favorite place to watch from, is still closed because they're taking down all the Olympic stuff. You can see in the videos I shot, um, you can still see some like the stadium seating along the Seine from when they had their opening ceremony. I mean, either way, you can't really beat Paris at midnight, so I'm just strolling back to my hotel because to be honest, I don't really want to go to bed. I love it here so much, especially at night. I know I've got an early morning and a lot of exciting stuff tomorrow. So I'm gonna just sign off for the night. But yeah, please like and subscribe for more. And with that, I'm gonna go enjoy Paris at midnight.